Hello, YouTube. You have to forgive the music in the background. My wife and her friend is out there jamming. But I wanted to take the opportunity to show y'all the new Inglehorde bar I got in today. If it looks familiar, I've done a video on my five ounce bar before uh, when I got it. And these are called the T ounce bars, the T dot ounce bars. Uh, and so if you go on all Inglehard, you'll see that for the 10, 10 ounce variety, they made several different variants of this bar. And most of them are very rare. Uh, under 25 mintage on some, under 10 on others. Um, this was a, a favorite bar for them to do a lot of different things with. And this is a fifth series bar. And the most popular version is the one that I have. And that one was only... Uh, had a mintage of, you know, less than 2,500, which makes it a tier two bar. So it's a pretty rare bar. And they're not so easy to get your hands on. If you wanted to buy one, they run in the $550, $600 range. And that's pretty uh, steep for a bar with a 2,500 mintage uh, 10 ounce bar, but it is a, a, a favorite. And I do believe that quite a few of these were destroyed and that 2500 number is is probably closer to you know 250 300 of these things uh still in circulation so a pretty rare bar uh, and in my opinion one of the better looking Inglehard styles i really like bars that have a lot of stamps on them uh looks like you know a lot of care was taken to making them. Uh, that's why I like the London bar so much. They have a, a lot of different stampings and, and character to them. Well, these bars have a lot of character as well. And you can see on this uh, 10 ounce bar, it's uh, other, it's got some dings and stuff on it, but it, it's still a great example in my opinion. The pour lines and stuff on it are pretty amazing. You can see you know, on that right hand side, the pour lines are outstanding and you can see the big stamp impression in the middle uh, where they put that that in and everything lines up pretty well I really like the character on the bar and you can see the impressions in front of the one seven uh, from the dial you know when they was making this five digit serial number so yeah, if you go on All Inglehard, you can get a lot more information on, you know, the different variants of this style of bar, this fifth series bar. And for the five ounce, if you don't recall, that's a seventh series bar, and about 4,000 of those were made. So it's a tier two bar as well. Everything under 5,000 mintage is considered a tier two bar. Everything under 500 mintage is a tier one. So it's a great bar, uh, tier two. I got it personally. I think I, I won this one off Mineral Exchange. Um, and I paid five seventy for it. But, you know, like I said in the last video, they hit you with a 10% fee. And I paid, uh, I ended up paying probably six thirty dollars total. Um, which is a little more than what you would normally pay. I think you can, you could probably find them for between 550 and 600 bucks and you, you do yourself a good uh, have yourself a good deal if you find one for 550 uh, they hold value very well and they only go up in value almost every Inglehard that I've showed you you know over the last six or seven years they've they've gone up exponentially uh, I used to have a three ounce MFR bar that I had some six seven years ago and I paid 300 bucks for that bar. Uh, you couldn't think about getting one for less than 1500 bucks now, it's crazy. Um, and the five ounce bars, they've gone up quite a bit and these, these 10 ounce rare variety Inglehards are also uh, very hard to come by. And, and the pricing on them reflects as such. And so if you're a collector of vintage stuff of Inglehard, uh, when you start getting into the more rare varieties, you will definitely pay more. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.